<laughs> One thing was. Okay. All right. So you've come back. I have. Yay. And you slept on it and you thought about oh, it. Yes. And are you ready yes. to jump off the cliff? Yes, I am. I'm very ready. <laughs> you tell. Will you tell the world what you just told me? The, oh, about my husband. Yeah. He said to me this morning because I, t- I right away this morning when I saw him I said I'm going to do the diet. I'm going on the protocol. And he's like. He goes, I knew if you decided that, then I decide I'm going to quit smoking and be with you so you're not alone. Not because, you know, he's going to have withdrawals. He's yep. going to have the same emotional issues exactly. with it. And you can both just, it's, that's so, it's so humbling. Yeah. I was like, I was like, oh, 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 okay. Because <laughs> I, I wasn't expecting that at all from yeah. him, you know. So I was like, uh, all right. <laughs> So, yeah, it's great. I have a question. Yes. After you left here, did you go eat? Did um, you go stop somewhere and binge? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, I'm so no, no, proud no, no, of you. No, no, no. You have no, no idea <laughs> how much people leave here and I go, oh, they are going. Because no. <laughs> I just no. opened up some wounds. <laughs> no. Okay. No, no, no. I um, I went home. Let's see, when I, when, what time did I? Oh, 4.30. Yeah, I went home, um, made dinner. And then my son and I ate. That was pretty... This is like normal. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So, no, I didn't... It, there was no big... No. Okay. It yeah. was kind of like... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, see, like, I get panicked. I, can't, I don't even think I can eat when I'm that, like... <laughs> okay. Yeah. And I was like... Oh, oh my God. <laughs> I mean, seriously. And, and that didn't go away for, like, at least an hour. Yeah. You know, the when I left. Bit. Yeah. And I was like... Okay, well, that's freaking me out. <laughs> I know. Well, and you know, it's it's like what are you, we we kind of left with this. What do you have to lose? What right. do you have to lose? Because if this does not work, you have what you have already. Right. And you know, you know what to expect if you don't jump off the cliff. Right. You ex- it's gonna just you'll. It's more of the same. It's the same thing, the same. and you know, it's like why not try? It's never too late. Right. Um, but I want to make this very clear. This is not fun. Yeah, <laughs> I I got that. Okay. Yeah. Because you're going to feel punished immediately. You know what we were wanting you to do. Right. You know what the end goal is, which is this emotional. You're you're gonna leave the jail. Right. You're walking out, and right. you're going into a world that is free, and you're not gonna feel safe. Right. Immediately. Right. And you're gonna want to go back into that jail cell. Yeah. Because you at least can control the jail cell. <laughs> that little box is very controllable. Yes, it is. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it starts off, and I remember when I did this for myself, when I stopped kind of doing my my, my addiction, mm-hmm. is it feels, pun- you feel like you're being punished. You feel almost like pity partying yourself. Oh, I mean, I can't go exercise. You know, that was my addiction. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and I remember just being so sorry for myself and then being like, okay, really? Because if yeah. you can't decide you want to do this, yes. <laughs> then you might as well just go cut suicide and be done with it. Be done. Because it's <laughs> your life feeling sorry for yourself. Yeah. is, And so you have to look beyond the immediate physical response. Here's something I want to make sure we understand, too. You have created biochemical reactions. There are signaling pathways in the brain Mm -hmm. that when something happens there is a signal inside the brain that occurs sure so when you have a moment that you feel the cliff is there you have a biochemical reaction that says go eat your food yeah yes I yes I okay it's mm -hmm. gonna happen and Mm -hmm. you're gonna have to you're gonna have to say oh there it is Mm -hmm. food is now becoming a part of the conscious mind and it's saying go go get it because it'll make you feel better yes which is another biochemical response Mm -hmm. and you're gonna have to say I don't want to I want to feel like this Uh, okay (laughs) yeah (laughs) because that's very new (laughs) well because you if you ever felt that way then it was oh my god I can't someone's grounding me you know what I mean it's it's like it really yeah and so you have to be ready to know when that occurs okay because when it occurs it's almost like you probably may have created an instant response to go oh just go grab some food sure um 
and then it's over. You don't have to deal with it. Yeah. Whereas I'm saying, no, it's going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, and you're going to have to just lay there and be okay with it and breathe through it, acknowledge it, and observe it as if you are the scientist going, ooh, what's this addiction about? Yeah. What's this doing? How does it feel? How would you describe it? Yeah. That type of... <laughs> how do you feel how do you today? Feel? Oh, let's see. <laughs> yeah. I, and I feel okay. <laughs> well, and you're going to have the... It's like... It would be like being in a, you know, when they do research and they make you watch a scary movie and the body manifests it's, as if it's occurring. Right. Well, that's what's going to happen. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's just, it's like when I stop smoking. Same that thing. everything, every thing, the, the, you know, time, it's like, oh, it is 9.15, time for smoke. Yep. Oh, it's this time, time for smoke. Like, it was so automatic, I just, like, it's like, oh, see, I knew it was time for smoke. Yeah, yeah. So, yes. Yeah, so I get that part. Cool. So, <laughs> see, the, this, you've done this before, and that's yeah. the really cool part about yeah. it. But now we're actually going <clears> to <throat> not move to something different. Yeah. Yeah. See, and I think, actually, that was one of the most scary things to me. Oh, yeah. Was that, it's like, oh, there isn't any... Like, there's nothing after mm-hmm. that. No, like, I don't want you to go exercise when you're stressed because that's your new addiction. I don't yeah. want you to go um, shopping right? because that's another addiction. I don't right. want you, you know what I mean? It's like, right. I don't want you to go to Facebook and that's right. another addiction. Right. It's, it's really about just sitting there with it yeah. and acknowledging it and knowing that you can handle it. So that is yeah. much harder. Yes. Not many people do that <clears throat> in a lifetime. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that with all my heart. Well, I actually it, believe that. It feels like, yeah. it truly feels like death. Yeah. But um, it's emotional. Yeah. We know intellectually it's not physical. Even though the right. physical manifestation of murder and death is occurring, mm-hmm. it's emotional death. And what it's testing is, if this isn't true, then what is? Right. And that gets down to who are you from the core and who are you without a body. That is a whole nother conversation because you you know remember we talked about the definition of who you are and how you've on some level defined yourself with either being a smaller than body but yes that may not even be an issue until we get there so how far are you along in weight loss apocalypse i'm only up to um like chapter three yeah How, how do you feel about it so far good i mean there's you know it's it's me. It makes sense what mm-hmm. I've read so far. Mm-hmm. I usually have to. I'm very bad at reading. Me too. So I usually have to go back I and read so bad. it a couple times. And I was watching a one a, a YouTube video that's on the website. Mm-hmm. And this woman showed hers with all of her things. I said, Oh, that's what I have to do. I should mark stuff because that actually makes it better, so I can remember. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. When something that makes sense to you, or you go, Oh my God, I've never heard that described. Yeah. You do, and then and yeah. what'll happen is you're gonna read it now, and then when you're on the protocol, you'll probably read it again, and then you'll actually understand some of it yeah. from that pers- perspective of within the protocol. Yeah. Most of the people reading my book have done the protocol more than once. They've done it multiple times. Oh, really? So they read it and they're like, oh my God, this is so true because oh. they've done it and they've done it and they've done it. So what I've noticed oh. is people who've never done the protocol read it and go, yeah, yeah this book sounds great. Right, right. That's exactly where I'm at. No, yep. this sounds good. Yep. I was like, okay. <laughs> well, you do mark some things. Okay. It's helping getting you prepared because okay. you can see, you know, by the description, the case studies, mm-hmm. how it make, would make sense why if they did it as a diet, you know, those, those will help you. But you're going to be your own case study. Right. You know? And so that's what we want to do. I want to describe your story. I want you to see it Mm -hmm. from outside, not in. Okay. So that it makes a whole lot of sense to you. You have compassion for the behavior you've been doing and recognize that it's no longer appropriate. Right. It doesn't make any sense based on your level of self-esteem and self-worth today. Right. So you're acting as if you have low self-esteem, but you truly don't have low self-esteem anymore. Right. Which is why a lot of times people don't know why they're doing it. It doesn't make sense, but they're yes. doing it because of that biochemical, yes. you know, how the brain creates those responses. So you just do it. So it's reactive. Yeah. Well, it's kind of, because, like, I've even found where I, like, I literally walk into the kitchen, open, like, something happened, nothing major or anything. But I walk into the kitchen, I open the refrigerator door, and I stand there, and I'm like going, and I realize, I'm like going, why am I standing there? What the hell just happened? We are creatures of habit. Yeah, and I was like, 
what is it? And that, when that happened, I was like, well, I have no control over that. In It's reactive. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that's very weird. It's going to happen to you on the protocol. Okay. There'll be times where you're going to put something in your mouth and you won't realize it until it's in your mouth and then you're going to go, <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, your, and your son's going to be like, mom. What are you doing? Yeah. And you're <laughs> <laughs> And it's the, you know, to me, I don't, ex you know, obviously because this is a hormonal therapy, we are magnifying the hormone leptin, which causes so much damage, mm -hmm. but at the same time is vital for life. We're putting you on kind of this very magnified situation mm -hmm. hormonally. We want you to take the protocol very, very serious. Oh, absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. And... And it, honestly, when you look at the food and when we go over that protocol, you're going to go, oh my God, this is the simplest and easiest thing I've ever seen. Okay. It is. I mean, okay. how hard could less than 500 calories really be? Well, how much preparation <laughs> is that going to take? Right. You see what I mean? That's kind of what I was thinking, too. There's probably not much to that no. at all. <laughs> That's the easiest I was, part. I was like thinking, I probably could actually go to the grocery store myself. And oh, yeah. Because I send my husband, so I don't spend, because I'll spend money on food. Like we, oh my gosh, I want you to go shopping yeah. a ton. You are now the food shopper on this protocol. Okay. We're going right into it. <laughs> you need to develop your self-esteem yeah. with food, but you emotionally don't need it, and it doesn't have that much power over you. It's similar to what I'm going to yeah. say, like, what's your, do you remember the first time you really binged with, like, what food was it as a child? Do you remember overeating and, or hiding? Did you ever hide food? No, okay. I. The thing was when I, because I grew up with three brothers, there never was food. Like I never could get to the food <laughs> fast enough. So you went hungry. I did. Okay. I, to me, I was always hungry to, when I was little. Yeah, now, I was too, actually. I don't know that that's true. It, but even sitting around the table, I always got, I was last, mm -hmm. and I was like. <laughs> like, what what happened to the food? Yeah. Like a bunch of hyenas. <laughs> it's like, I didn't get any potatoes. What's yeah. going on? <laughs> oh, I totally know that feeling. Now, I shouldn't say that I never hid food. I, I did. If my grandmother baked sugar cookies, I hid those. Because she baked them for me. But then you, there was guilt. So you were hiding them for something. You felt you were being judged. I, I hid them. Well, I hid them so my brothers wouldn't eat them. Oh, that was okay, why I hid totally them. Totally different. Yeah, okay. that's why I hid them. But that. Oh, I could totally see now that. Now I yeah. do. I hide. And but that's still kind of hoarding. Yeah, I mean, I kept them. Like I wasn't. They gonna, were precious. Yeah. And, and they, they were, were like. They were to me very precious. Part was it because it was an act of love for your grandma? Yeah. Okay. It was so there totally, was nostalgia and yeah. love. Okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. That, that's all tied up into that, like, oh, because they were specially made for me. I wonder if you eat because that's how you feel like you have self-esteem, because that is love, your self-love with food. Yeah. Yes. Have you ever thought of that? No. Not oh, until just now. High five. Not until just now. It's like, yeah, because that's okay. actually... Well, no wonder you don't want to get rid of the food. Yeah, yeah. even because with my... Gr see, not so much with my mom and my dad, but with my grandmothers, both on each side, my dad's grandmother babysat us, and she made us food all the time. And you just and, loved and, it. And she loved me and just... Oh, and you were she would favorite. Say, yeah, and oh, but, my God. Okay. And then if my, if my mom oh, came, it was like... Oh, I'll make you sugar cookies because I love you so much. Is do you have that recipe? The sugar cookie? Mm -hmm. I do somewhere in you my You need home. to find it because I want you to make those sugar cookies and gorge on them during the gorging. There's a gorging? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Oh, I know. We're we're going to get into that uh, later. Okay. Good. But there is the first few days of the HCG. It's required physiologically. This is not just the mind game of the method. Okay. This is truly necessary but I like to use it as sure. something mm. that we can use as a tool which is why I'm specifically saying if you can get that recipe and make yeah. those cookies during the time when you've got to eat as much as you can I want you to eat those cookies without the emotion okay so that you can realize that that it's love is not, not the, the cookie, cookie. <laughs> <laughs> you get it now. Yeah, it's like there is like, well, it isn't the cookie. Like I'm like, oh, it's in my mouth. head, it's an, it's not the cookie. But like you know, you have the biochemical yeah. response. I, I'm like thinking, yeah, if I if I made them oh. just like they and they tasted just like grandma's, it would be the love that I remember. 
Yes. Yes. I could see. Totally. Okay, do you see why we want to do yes. this? You need to make them, and you need to sit there at, yes. like, breakfast, so it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> and you're going to eat those cookies and okay. go, I love you, Grandma, yeah. but this is not your love <laughs> yeah, any longer. <laughs> so it's kind of doing it again without the emotional. So we're trying okay. to detrain the brain sure. from attaching that from this food. Okay. So get a picture of her. Okay. Yep. And write a letter to her, or whatever it is, so that you okay. can express that love from okay. a different form okay <laughs> oh wow yeah that is like completely like new. did I just look yeah it's just like, like a, oh, oh. <gasps> you are not that little girl no, and you intellectually and know that that does not the truth I, and, and I'm to so me, like, that was like oh my god I do eat because I think that's love we totally just had a oh moment. my gosh <laughs> that was like emotional <laughs> orgasm I know it's like oh my that was awesome I'm like, I'm like I'm gonna go home and tell my husband that and he'll be like okay <laughs> Yay! So this is a session. Yay! This is what happens. You and I are going to meet, and it's just like chatting, and I'm going to ask questions, and I'm going to go, ooh, what about this? What about this? And you're going to go, yes, Yay. no, yes, no, yes, yes! Yes, that's it. Oh, Yay. I'm so glad. Oh, me too. So we need to prep you for this protocol, and I yes. do not need to do this on here. So thank you for sure. sharing. Sure. Can I share your name? Yes. This, this is uh, Meetings with Lisa. So what I'll start doing is letting people know because they want to follow you. Gotcha.